Hi, this is Flicky. Welcome to the Road to Glory Career Mode Youth Edition with Mansfield Town. So, we can see that Von Pala has scored 37 goals and he's 8 ahead of, of second position Lavery. So I guess we can say that Von Pala is going to win the Golden Booth. Um, we can also see that we are parked 4th in the league. We're, we're safe when it comes to at least playoffs, but when you look at Colchester, they are 2 points ahead of us and we have two games less played so that's looking amazing we're gonna play Macclesfield first and they're parked at the 23rd position so if we win this one it's gonna look really interesting and maybe I can have like a calmer two games that's coming up um, but first game of this episode Macclesfield visiting us at the field mill and I can't really hope for anything else than than three points because I don't think my Pulse will manage if we lose this one. Anyway, give me three points. Come on, let's go. What a perfect day for football we've got here. Martin Tyler here, along with Alan Smith. Our competition today is EFL League Two. It's Mansfield Town against Macclesfield Town. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Looking forward to it. I think we're going to have an entertaining tussle here. I think we'll find that out in the first 10 minutes, how these teams approach the task. Well, this could be a terrific contest, and it's underway now. This is the Macclesfield Town team that's just been announced. That's a variation on a theme, really, isn't it? Real chance! Just rushed it a little bit. Could have relaxed a bit more. Yeah, and he seemed to be off balance when he hit it. And they've got a man out wide. Just a reminder of what a great keeper he is. And he's a big lad and he needed every inch of his frame there. The manager just hoping that that miss is not going to come back to haunt them. They are creating chances, but that was a costly miss. Now the possibility for a cross. This could be a chance from the cutback. Looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Really vital interception here. Passes here from the attacking team against defenders that are really earning their money. This the is better. Sparta! Well, it rests with the referee as to whether to stop the play. That's what the laws of the game say, and he has stopped the play. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, and you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Complete it. He's had a look at the ref, he knows what's coming. Well, that's a yellow card. Yeah, I don't think there's any choice there from the ref. He took a chance there, really, and I don't think it paid off. Yeah, from this angle, there's no doubt the ref's got it right. It was a Good vision, played over the back of the defenders. He could cross it from here. Little piece of interplay between the two. Now, can they make this count? Keeping the ball well in a dangerous area now. Must take the lead here. It's still dangerous here off the goalkeeper. Well, here's a chance. The press worked. Saved by the keeper. He can't hang on to the ball. He's got some room out there. 
This is how they love to play on the break. It's opened up. Pushed back out into play. Saved it. That's a dreadful error. Some players limbering up for the away team. Substitute. Market. Must take the lead here. Decent opportunity there, but it was easy in the end for the goalkeeper. Well, I don't know what was wrong there, whether he took his eye off the ball. He certainly didn't connect with it how he should have. Well, he's rushed at the goalkeeper because he wanted to find his teammate and he's just thrown it straight out of play. The defenders managed to get in the way there. Well, he's cleared the danger. Ties luck. Richly deserved opening goal. A match that looked as though it might end frustratingly for them. They have been the better side throughout, and now they've got what they really have pushed for throughout, right from the first whistle. They've been the side that has attacked, that wanted to win the game, and they should go on and win it from here. And that has opened the scoring. 1 0 here. The referee the has indicated that we'll be a another two, two minutes, minutes added on by the referee. Rose. Well, this could be their last chance to salvage something from this game. I think he saved them there with that interception. Called the halt. Really good game to watch. Good attacking play. Edge of the seat stuff for the spectators. It's what the game's all about. Yeah, and there's nothing better, Martin, than seeing quality strikers go about the work. And uh... oh, so we win one goal to zero. And Andriopoulos saved us with a, a late goal. Oh, wow, low. And we're up at third position now. So we're at the automatic promotion. Um, we're a game short, but one point ahead. So if Kolsch has to win the last one, uh, oh, it's going to be tight. I know it's going to be classic me just failing this. But I'm going to do my best. I'm going to play Crawley next. They are going to be visiting us at the field mill. And uh, my <laughs> I'm actually nervous, like for real nervous. That's I think it's, it's game. Come on. Anyway, the second game of this episode, I'm trying to breathe, I'm trying to be calm, and I'm trying not to have a meltdown here. Uh, the second game of this episode, we're going to play Crawley, and they're going to be visiting us at the field mill. And if we win this game, I can't even think about if we win this game. Let's see, if we win this game, then we're going to see what the animation does at the end of the game, because my brain is melting. Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary box and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And today's the day they could well secure their promotion. It's Mansfield Town and they take on Crawley Town. Well, with all that hard work gone before this game, they can cap it all off today with promotion. What a brilliant season it's been so far. Cap it off with gold. Come on.
fullbacks will link up with the wide players. The two holding midfielders will sit in front of the centre backs. Very solid look about this team. And so the match is underway. Lost it. Clearing the lines, and so it will be a corner now. And so just having a look at the table, let's remind you that a win is all they need today to secure promotion ahead of Timely. Well, Derek, it does seem inevitable really today, but it's important they don't let their energy levels drop. They stay focused, do what they've been doing all season. I'm pretty sure they'll get the job done. Corner kick played over. Thumps clear. This could be an interesting avenue. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Well, here it is again. You're trained from a young age to get in those sort of positions and never in any real doubt he finished that. Cool and composed. Opening goal of the game, then. A highly purposeful attack, this. The emphasis on getting the ball forward. Can he put it away? Still alive. The possession lost, intercepted. Derek, well, goal scorers score goals and win games, but so do goalkeepers when it comes to getting the points. Fruitful looking attack. And will it be the leveller? And this time it's in. Well, the offside flag has been raised. No goal. But it was close, but he just went a little bit too early. Well, let's get details of a goal that's been scored in one of the other games from Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Oldham Athletic. 78 minutes played, 3-1. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. It should be! Cutting the ball back. Tremendous block. And this time, it's in! Here it is, a striker's bread and butter, simple finish, but it's the positioning that gets him the goal. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. Second goal for them here. Absolutely agree with that one. Played in there. Being pressed and pressed high. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Promotion is now guaranteed. Well, I would have thought that promotion was always their goal, but 
to do it with games to go must be a real bonus. Well done indeed, everybody. Well, we saw that cel celebration at the the animation at the end. Uh, that means, of course, that we're through. We we managed. We are at ultimate promotion, so we're up. We're gonna play League One action next year. So now we're gonna have a, a, a game that doesn't mean anything. We're gonna visit Leighton Orient. Uh, we're gonna play at the Matchroom Stadium for the third and final game of this episode, but it doesn't mean anything. We're done. Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. My name is Derek Ray. With me in the commentary box is Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And we're just minutes away from kickoff in the final game of the season. This ought to be a fantastic watch, Lee. Well, what a season it's been, Derek. It's had absolutely everything. Drama at both ends of the table. Spectacular goals and plenty of entertainment too. The players need to finish the season off strongly. We're looking forward to a great game here. The atmosphere is fantastic. So the initial 11 for the home side. Fairly conventional 4-5-1 setup. Yeah, that back four will be protected throughout the game with the five midfield players in front of them. Really important that they do support that lone striker when they do have the ball. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And so the match is underway. And the result is a throw-in. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Delivering it into the box. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. And he takes on the shot. Goalkeeping of the very highest order. Oh, it was a great shot as well. Great shot, great save. And firing it into the area. Not problematic for the keeper. Well, they've been playing terrific football for most of the season and the table spells that out. Promotion now guaranteed. And we have to ask ourselves, how we think they'll cope next term, Lee. Well, it's a bigger challenge, there's no doubt about that. Everybody's got to step up to the plate. Wonderful chance! In it goes, an early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Stop the supply, you stop the goal. We learned that one at school, Derek. Poor defending here. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, he's delighted, isn't he? We can see that. Calm is needed now just to consolidate this lead. Cool heads. The opening goal of the game, then. giving them the gift of possession. Can he take advantage? Will he finish? Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, it's good play. Ian Wright always told me, stand in the middle of the goal. It sounds simple, but you don't have to get a lot of goals from that position. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored.
Well, there's nothing better for a manager when a plan comes together. Total satisfaction. Well, a second goal for them here. Everyone knew that was foul play, and the referee left with little choice but to award the free kick. Not all that convincing defensively. Well, visionary passing. A goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, that's like the other end, the striker putting it in the net. The goalkeeper has to keep it out, and what a brilliant way to do it. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it... And first-class defending cleared off the line. Makanoff. Sadly, you've got to say, miles off target. Well, if it is far, and now the second half is underway. Beautifully disguised ball. Can they convert? High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, it's all about timing. You've got to wait for the ball to come down, and he's very, very unlucky. Strikers, and really has been a dominant performance. I think he knew he was guilty of fouling. Free kick conceded. A red card then, and that could really complicate life for them. It did look as though things were going their way. Well, it should be an easy end to this game, but maybe not now. They give the opposition a chance. Well, Derek, I'm not so sure I'd want to be a manager. Just look at the frustration on his face. Whatever it takes to keep them out. The crowd is sensing momentum is with them. They've created chance after chance. Can they capitalise here? Tremendous intuition to win it back. And the ball is in the net. And that is not going to count. The decision is offside, Lee. Well, it's a good decision from the assistant referee. Spot on there. Highly purposeful attack, this. The this emphasis on getting the ball forward. He's in with a chance. It really is such a free-scoring performance. Just nothing the defenders can do about it, seemingly. Well, sometimes it's really hard to play against ten men, and this lot are finding it hard. They're losing this game now, and you have to give credit. Ten men are now winning this game. Well, there's nothing better for a manager when a plan comes together. Total satisfaction. Well, sadly, we have to conclude that this hasn't really been a contest, but all credit to any side committed... Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, he played well, scored a goal. What a good performance from him. So, three goals to zero against Leighton North at the last game of the season. It doesn't mean anything, of course. We were already through. But it's, also, it's always good to, to end with a win. At least it feels good. Um, so that was that was it, actually. We, we, we made it. I, I didn't really think we were going to reach um, the automatic promotion, especially since we lost. When we lost Colchester, I was, you know, I thought that was 
yeah, we, we missed that train, so to say. But they they played bad in the end, and they lost a few games there, and we managed to 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 squeeze past them and and, and got that promotion position. So we're playing League One next year. Amazing. Uh, I wouldn't actually uh, when we, when I started like the first four games of this like season, I lost all of them and I was you know my players were they were well they were just sad but we got a few interesting players from the, the academy and they came in early to the team uh, Wumpala has been like amazing and yeah it's all thanks to them that that we're actually managed to 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 get this promotion so anyway if you did like this episode I hope you do. You all do what whatever I tell you to. No, don't do that. But you can like, you can subscribe. If you want to push that little bell, you will get notified when I drop new content. Uh, I do tell you to wash your hands and be safe, and that's you can't argue with that. So just do that, and you take care. Um, I'm gonna have a shorter end of the season episode coming um, but till then walk good <laughs>